everybody, welcome to La Cocina de Tavo. Today I'm making a delicious, best whole grilled chicken you're ever going to have. I'm also going to make a side of black beans. Uh, this black beans recipe is my style, the way I make it. Uh, don't forget to like this video, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. Okay, here are the ingredients for the grilled chicken. I have here about five pounds of a whole chicken. So I'm going to make a paste uh, to rub the chicken on. And I have here about two limes, a sprig of rosemary, uh, two tablespoons of garlic powder, a tablespoon of mustard, uh, four packets of sazon goya, a tablespoon of oregano, uh, three tablespoons of salt, uh, a tablespoon of black pepper. I'm also going to use some red wine vinegar and some extra virgin olive oil. Okay, for the black beans, um, this is my recipe. I have here about 30 ounces or two cans of black beans. And I have here a jalapeno. Also, I have some green onions, a whole bell pepper, three tomatoes, black pepper some garlic powder, some salt, and some cilantro. Okay, we're going to make the paste. I have a bowl here. We're gonna add about a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, same for red wine vinegar. We're gonna add the lime and all the condiments here. Okay, I'm going to show you how to cut a whole chicken for grilling. Um, this is the way I do it and it's the best way because here's the reason why it, it's flat and even on all sides so what that means it will cook evenly throughout the whole uh, cooking time on the grill so trust me do it this way and you will never have to wonder oh is it not cooked all the way in the breast or the thighs this and that because if you butterfly it's too much work you got to take out some bones here and there so this is what you want to do you want to um, move the thighs here the legs um, just take them out the circulation here in the joints same for the wings we're gonna cut the tip of the wing so they don't burn off as you see here and trust me this is the best way to cut a whole chicken for grilling okay so we're gonna start putting the paste here so what I do first I usually um, use my hands that's the best way to do it because you want to get underneath the skin and put it on the meat on the muscle here so and on the breast so you want to rub it really good massage the chicken get underneath the skin and put all the the paste in there some footage of my backyard it's been really bad weather these past uh, weeks and months it's been snowing rain uh, so finally the sun is out a little bit here um, so yeah here's some views of my backyard I don't wanna know, no, no, no who's taking you home oh 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 I'm loving you so 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 
The way I used to love you, no, I don't wanna know, no, no, no Who's taking you home, 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 home My loving you so, 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 so The way I used to love you, oh, I don't wanna know Wasted And the more I drink, the more I think about you Oh, no, no, I can't take it Baby, every place I go Okay, so we're outside here in the grill. So what you want to do is turn the flame up really, really high because you want to create a layer over the chicken um, or I guess sear it on the grill. That way it keeps all the juices inside. So you want to do this for about four minutes per side. Are you happy now? I don't want to know, no, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. No, no, no. Okay, we're ready to fully cook this whole chicken. So we're gonna put it on the side here on indirect heat and you wanna cook this for about an hour and 10 minutes or 165 degrees Fahrenheit on the chicken breast. So what I did is here, I, I turned the flames off on the left and I turned them on really high on the right and you're gonna close the grill. Okay, now while the whole chicken is grilling outside, we're going to start cutting up the vegetables and getting them ready to fry them on the pan. Okay, so I put two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and we're gonna fry up the vegetables really good. Okay, now they're pretty cooked, uh, the bell peppers and the tomatoes and all the other vegetables. So now we're going to add the 30 ounces of black beans. So go ahead and stir that up really good. And you want to cook this on really, really low heat for about 15 minutes. So we're going to add the condiments here. First, we're going to add about half a tablespoon of black pepper and the same for garlic powder. And you're going to add a tablespoon of salt. A la República Dominicana, la casa del merengue, la casa de la bachata. La 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 casa del merengue. Okay, it's been about 50 minutes now, and the reason why you want to cook this or simmer this for 50 minutes that way it gets all the flavor from the garlic powder, the salt. Um, so what you want to do is just turn off the flame cover this and put this aside while the whole chicken is grilling. Okay, we're almost done now. So as you can see, it's been an hour and 10 minutes and the ch whole chicken is done. You can see that it has a nice crust on it and it's ready um, to rest. We're gonna rest this on a uh, covered foil paper for about 15 minutes. Okay, it's done resting now, so we're gonna take off the foil paper. The reason why you wanna let it rest is that way it 
let all the juices inside the, the skin, all the, the thighs, the, the legs, the muscles, uh, the wings, the breasts, all of that. So I'm going to show you how I cut my ch whole chicken. Um, you could do it the way you want. Uh, this is just the way I do it. There you go everybody this is my version of a whole grilled chicken with my recipe um, this is the best chicken I've ever had honestly and the black beans came out phenomenal very uh, delicious packed with flavor um, hope you give this a try if you want to like this video comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you